your local Lacey Olympia chiropractor here, and we have Michelle, who is a nurse at Madigan. And what department do you work in? Anesthesia. Anesthesia. And um, she's come in for a chiropractic care. So I'm going to take you through and demonstrate some of the chiropractic adjustments. I'll try to explain what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. Uh, where would you like me to focus today, Michelle? Uh, mostly upper shoulders. Upper shoulders, and back. okay. Yeah, upper back. So a lot of times, and not everything, some people start, some of the chiropractors start with their patients uh, sitting, sitting up. So I'm going to go through what's called a basic scan or basic protocol and checking her out and seeing the alignment of the spine. But we're going to put most of our effort in the uh, upper mid back, lower neck area where she asked. Okay, so I start out and I look at the leg length. So short leg, about three quarter of an inch right side. Goes longer in position two and longer in position three. So we have a misalignment in the pelvis. So I feel both sides of the joints. It feels more on her right side. So I'm using a technique called Thompson Technique. Different tables chiropractors use. So I typically with a drop type piece, it's a way to adjust the body, adjust the misaligned bones. So I'm putting pressure more on the right side than the left. And then with each adjustment, it gets a little bit firmer. Okay, both legs even, position one and two. And her legs started to move easier as I track. A lot of times also low back pain, number one thing that we notice with people, tight hamstrings. We do a lot more sitting and I can feel it mostly on the right side right there. So I'm gonna use the instrument just to loosen the tight hamstrings. on the outside so people get that low back pain a lot of times we'll see a tight hamstrings there okay go ahead put your right hand on your lower back for me switch hands and back now have you been doing the uh training for the half marathon? Oh, yeah. Didn't you just do one? I've done two in the last three weeks. I didn't know two. Good for you. And I usually see Michelle when she needs to get in here for her tune-up, just to make sure she's running straight, right? Mm -hmm. Otherwise you run one big circle. <laughs> that always sucks. <laughs> So as I was going through and palpating, some of the areas around T4, T6 started to loosen up and release in the spine. You can see the adjustments uh, don't have to be very hard on people. But aligning the spine reduces the pain, eliminates that neck and, low, uh, neck and back pain. to the middle. So we check T6 again. We check C7 when she moved her head back. Go ahead, lift your head up and back down. Checking C5. Tuck your chin to your chest. Checking the atlas bone and relax. Right leg went quite a bit short, about three quarters in short. I know the camera can't pick this up. So I see some stress over the atlas bone. And this area right here in the neck creates a lot of problems that people will see that can even attribute down to the low back pain. So I check the atlas, the top bone or C1 in the neck, that bone can misalign and be adjusted 21 different ways. So I'm using an instrument called the integrator to adjust the atlas bone right there. Take a deep breath in and 
I'm really sick. Good. Now I'm going to have you sit up face the direction toward the windows. Patients complain a lot about their mid-back between the shoulder blades. I'd like to check the ribs. I could feel it more on her right side than on her left. So we have typically a T1, T1 rib. Okay. I check the shoulders, helping the blades come backward. A lot of times because of the work that we do, where we sit at a computer, the shoulders tend to roll forward if we drive, those kind of things. All right, there we go. You want to say anything to the uh, viewers out there as well? <laughs> Um, just, I've been seeing Dr. Warwick for a couple of years now, and he's always done a great job helping me get back so that I feel like I'm not leaning more towards one side or the other whenever I'm running.